this is now the output. I don't know if you can see that on this camera. See it's smoking a little bit. It is not the output I had with I think three or four spoons less. But the uh, first unit I built was only with a few spoons and it heat up really bad. This one holds up pretty cool. It runs now I would say three quarter hour. The water warmed up a little bit, not much. Well, it produces decent. It doesn't produce like the other one has before. Altogether, let me see how many spoons I have on. I never counted. See the package of spoons I have on. So the more spoons I get on, the less output, on the less heat. Uh, also the distances are a little bit bigger or the distance or the gap is a little bit bigger and the gap distance basically makes the output at this point. The cell had to adjust a little bit in order to create it. I know what it does. It conditions itself and the hotter it gets the more output I get. So it also pulls more uh, current, so it's definitely running away. I have to find something to stop it. And as far with just the hookup, just straight DC, the output is not very good. I'm not very happy about it, but it stays cool. So that's so. Next step is adding the spool and the capacitor on it. I'll show you this in the next one, okay?